Well, across the country, summer violence is impacting families trying to enjoy time together. Just Friday, a gunman killed a family at an Iowa State Park and campground. Three family members killed, Tyler and Sarah Schmidt, along with their six-year-old daughter, Lula. Their nine-year-old son, Arlo, survived that attack. But just yesterday, a shooter killed two people and hurt five others at a crowded Los Angeles park. And News Nation's Nancy Liu is live for us at that park. Nancy, a very scary situation for families. Definitely, Nicole, and it's proving to be anything but a carefree summer. Family picnics and a car show were underway in this park in San Pedro when gunfire tore through killing two people. The shooting was based on a dispute. That's the initial assessment from LAPD after deadly gun violence at Peck Park. About 500 people were spending Sunday in the park for picnics and a car show when gunfire forced families to take cover. I put my, da my daughter on the other car so my, my wife protect my kid and I just put my head on top of his head just because I was thinking that he's going to kill us. The gunfire left a man and woman dead. According to clinical psychologist Joshua Claypo, summer always brings higher odds of disputes. People are tend to be out and about more. Um, there's, there's literally more time to interact with one another, which means there is a greater chance for conflict. It's not known yet what triggered the tragic shooting at an Iowa campground on Friday. A gunman burst into a family tent, killing Tyler and Sarah Schmidt and their six-year-old daughter, Lula. Nine-year-old Arlo survived. It was simply this individual woke up that morning and decided to pick a tent uh, and walk into that tent where... My sister and her family was sleeping and never got a chance to wake up. Police say the 23-year-old suspect shot and killed himself in the woods nearby. The tragedy has many families concerned about random violence. The odds are higher, but they are not extremely high. But as a family, you should not feel significantly at risk to go out or to go camping. That being said, you do have to pay attention. Where are you in terms of surroundings? Who is around you? Now, softball game was also underway at this park at the time of the shootings, but it's not clear yet whether any of the events had anything to do with the killings. LAPD continue to search for at least two suspects. Nicole. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.